what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Fish Game. Today we're out here and it's a little chilly. We're out here at the harbor, Port Mansfield. Uh, looks like we got a north wind, um, but we got some live bait, so we'll see what's gonna happen. I got these little tiny mud minnows. Uh, no shrimp yet, um, but we will be getting shrimp soon because uh, we're gonna be going after some sheep's head. So you guys stay tuned for that. We're gonna be going after some sheep's head here in the next few weeks. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Might be doing a little bonus here, how to throw a cast net as well. So let's check it out. rig and gonna see if we can't hammer down on something here at the dock I'm going to show you guys how to throw a cast net today. I just got this cast net for Christmas. This is a Drassy cast net. Thank you to the fiance. Let's see if we can cast it. Oh, it's not too bad. This is bigger than what I'm used to. I think this is a seven foot. I used to have a, I think a five foot. And uh. Big old mullet there guys. Look what I got here. Some big giant mullet. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to throw this. First step, put it on your wrist and then just loop it around. Loop the rope, just loop it. All you're doing is just holding it. Anyways, loop it. So once you get to here, this is a big old swivel, barrel swivel. Uh, you're gonna grab this disc. It's gonna go to the top and you're gonna grab this little Piece here. And these are gonna go to the top like so you're gonna pull it all the way up to the barrel swivel And then you're gonna go ahead and hold it right there And then you're gonna grab it around halfway And then put that in your hand as well Okay, so I got the rope I got the top and I got halfway so this is where the magic happens because I'm going to grab from the bottom and put it between my middle finger and thumb and then rather than work away from me I'm going to work towards me so okay hold it here and now I'm going to come towards me come down the rope to the bottom and put it back again between my finger all the way down between my finger four or five times so you got about almost half the net there come down to the bottom and just hold it like this and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate around your body so I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna rotate twist and let it go there we go that should be pretty good it looks like we got ourselves a nice haul here so you just go ahead and look in the bottom and look at that we got ourselves a mullet Alright guys, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and grab that blue circle and you're going to pull it up all the way towards the barrel swivel and that's going to open your net and that fish is going to fall all the way down to the bottom and fall out with a nice little mullet. Now, what I'm probably going to do is uh, keep a few of these, freeze them, maybe cut it up and use it later because uh, this is really good bait and uh, it costs a lot of money if you need to just buy bait every time. So a good way to save money is to stock up and use it, use it when you need it next time. Maybe some cut mullet for some redfish, the jetties. That sounds like a good idea. Okay, first of all, 
my type of deal is I use my left hand to hold my hold the, the string. Then, if this thing is too big, it depends. You know, it's up here. You grab it where you're comfortable. Like, okay. Like right there for me. All right. And once you do, you keep your rope on this side. You string it like that, and then you bring this in over here, in like that. Okay. And once you throw it, you're gonna throw like a frisbee. You're gonna open it up, and it should fall. All right. It should open. It should open up. And uh, let me let me try one. See, here we go. Yeah. And then. There you go, that was pretty good. And the deal is to catch fish. Look, not with that cast. So, clean it up. Sure it's not moving. There you go, good one. All right, guys, kind of like that. There you go. There nice. You go. Gonna catch some red. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know what kind of video you guys would like to see next. And I'll go ahead and make that happen for you guys. Uh, don't forget about the shirts. Uh, we're selling them for $30. And all the proceeds are gonna help towards the wedding because I'm getting married in April. So it's happening really quick. Um, it's already February, so we are so close. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you next time. What is up, guys? We're out here today on a cold February day. It's February 13th. It's Valentine's Day Eve, and we are out here with the Mystery Tackle Box. I just wanted to show you guys what is in this month's tackle box. We got some jig heads from H&H. &H. And it's nice because it has a little rattle in there. I was actually just using this right now with some gold. Um, we also have the slick lure, which is really cool. You can rig it weedless, and it's almost like a little quirky plastic deal. Also, we have the Westin shrimp, the salty shrimp. That one's pretty cool. Um, then we have a Bazoka's or Bazka's salt runner bait. Pretty dope. And uh, then we got Spike It coming out with some paddle tails, which is pretty sick. And my personal favorite bait in this box is Al's Goldfish. This is the saltwater series made in the USA. I can't wait to take this out to the jetties and give it a try. Uh, for those of you guys who've been watching the channel, I've been using the salt native spoons, which are uh, really good too. And also I was throwing it today on the brand new Guggen Rod from the Guggen Squad. So pretty nice. This is a seven foot medium heavy. This is a, this is called the Go-To. It's a nice rod. I paired it up with the Dial Reel. I've really been digging the Dial Reels lately. But anyways, so uh, make sure you guys go over to uh, Mystery Tackle Box. Uh, check it out. If you use the code FISH again, you'll save $10 on your first box. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time, hopefully on the water.